listen to my podcast. Um, no, but I'm sorry about the the school is closing because that's some little bit of problems with it. But uh, but we will get there tomorrow. That's fine. But we will get there. Um. I will stay in screen recorder for podcast for a little bit two weeks. Um, hmm. Should I? Yeah, shut. Mm, ah, ah. Oh, nice. Guess what? Burger taco. Send it to Spain. Motherfucking national shipping. Try infectious. Sorry for swearing. Um, hmm. I'm gonna find the Popetro right here, just here. Hmm. Doesn't matter if you have ten thousand followers or just a few hundred. Print on demand is an amazing way to. Hmm. Should I? Hey guys. Taco Bell. Why do we have it? It's it's Tuesday. It's, it's there. It's. I thought we had a tacos tonight. Ooh. Ooh. What's this here? Pepperoni sausage. Leaf and download. Mm. Can I plus my favorite? Tobu and Avicii. Mm. I says, uh, it's, it's come from that fear. It's come Praskis. Here's the, Here's the video. So really Tobu Pop Petro CD unpacking. I'm the one and only. Uh, so user Crazy Star Five Five. Um, so Tom Praski, also known as Tobu, <laughs> had a night on nightish. Mm. It's chili. Uh, is it La Belle? And it is my favorite is Tropical House. And the Lost Lost is my favorite Professor House in 2021. And the disco song vocal with them every day. And the Fire Burger, Fire Burger, you should be hot and to you and 80. All day breakfast. Oh, I didn't eat at snack time. That's so unfair. That's okay. Bad. Send us to Latvia. And post. <sighs> it's like cola, well, sweet. AKA <sighs> Tobu. Um, this is a CD that I won in his uh, giveaway. What I had to do, I had to comment on um, one of his photos. I had to say uh, what was my favorite song in his uh, new uh, CD. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the CD, but it starts with a P. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys. I don't want to make this intro any longer because I really, really want to open this. I'm so excited. Busted it right. A. Perpetro. Did I say that right? Mm. And another one right here. Post. Yeah. 
It's tobu time. Tobu. This is my favorite. It's not Christmas sweetie. It's from Latvia. Yeah, tobu from Riga, Latvia. That's Graham says. This one is in Florida. It's ditch line, bitch. I just want, um, it's not it, it's skyscraper. It's a pizza. No, it's no pizza. I think it's a fish. It's from seafood. Yeah, yeah, chicken. To a cafe. To the USA. Natural food. Cafe. Straight on right now, my mind is. You can see. Right. Um. Ugh. I'll feel you. Let me subscribe it. I won't miss it to live shows. Um, canal. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's try sugar. Um, uh, something like that. <laughs> it's called by Landing Remixes. Yep, I'm going to tell you sugar album review. According to this video called Bluey Andrew, Bluey Wishes, Andre the Cool Guy Animations 2010, my happy birthday gets ungrounded. I love Bluey. From CBBS. Um, yep. Remember, my podcast will be every day at 9pm GMD. So at 9 p.m. GMT today, every day will be on my podcast. Um, or, uh, yes, yeah, Central. Yes, yeah, Central. You appear in time. God damn it! Um, hey, Lunchbags. What's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome to my review of the debut album from Tobu. This one's called Sugar. Kind of a random title, and considering that the single Sprinkles with Helberg and Candyland didn't make the cut for this album, I thought Sugar was a pretty weird title, but I'm not going to judge the album based on that. Honestly, going into this, I expected the absolute worst, since primarily Tobu's singles have always been Progressive House. That's kind of been his motto, just releasing melodic Progressive House since the very beginning, kind of growing in that no copyright sound kind of scene, providing free downloads for all of his stuff. And for that, I strongly commend him. He's a he's definitely an awesome producer. He's got a ton of potential. But with the concept like... of the album, I didn't see much coming. So going into this, I wasn't really expecting much from this thing. I was actually I actually got more than I expected out of this sucker. Honestly, there's some good gems in here. Obviously, not going to be an absolutely amazing record, but for the most part, he tries to make a really solid and diverse thing, and it works in some spots. Right off the bat, you can see some ultra cheese in this thing, especially within the titles. Just naming off some things like smile. Think positive, sensual massage. Now, Tobu has also been one to kind of rip off the Avicii sound quite a bit of times, and a lot of times it's worked with this album. I don't think it works in a lot of places, especially on the lead single, Let It Be Now, with Brandon Matthias. I do like Matthias' vocal appearance on this one, but I think for the most part, this melody is just such a cheese ball that it's very distracting from what we're actually getting in this thing. There's a whole buttload of collaborators on this sucker, but for some reason, and none of them are credited on iTunes, which is very odd. Uh, William Eck, who I've come to respect in the past uh, for his work with Stirner, uh, has been pretty good, but on this track, I just don't think it provided much. Pretty well-known upcoming producer Axero also features on this one on two sides, which really tries to take guitar playing to the next level on this one. Ultimately, I think 
that might be the only interesting thing about this track, and the rest of the track is fairly flat. It doesn't provide for much interesting. On the other hand, the next track, Casanova, is actually pretty standout for the majority of the album. Although, you're once again taking off that standard slow electro sound. I think it's one of the more interesting tracks, the percussion on this one, kind of taking a little bit more of a Middle Eastern sound. Is that yeah, cool? that fades it's like... Not... Well, it fades like... Satchel Massage, or Faint Positive? Well, which is your most basic of progressive house tracks. We've got C4, which is your most basic of electro tracks. Think Positive, which is trying really hard to be a Kygo kind of sounding track, but takes the most bland twists of vocals I've ever heard. Yeah, Tobu, your music's positive. It's great. Um, I love you, man, but this track is just so cheesy. I just... I can't take it, man. I can't take it. Then don't even get me started on tracks like Sensual Massage, which is probably the worst track on the record. The lead synth on this thing is just so screechy and disturbing. I honestly couldn't really even get through my first listen of this thing because it's it's that bad. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. This track is too much. I love you, Tobu. But I'm sorry. Right. Fans like. Then after that, we get into my two favorite tracks on the record, I Feel Lighter and Damn Sun. Now both of these tracks have these random dubstep drops. I think it works a little bit better in Damn Sun. I Feel Lighter has one of the cooler vocal appearances on this thing, being a little bit less cheesy. It's a cool concept. And uh, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Ugh. Let's click on and click on YouTube. I hope you enjoy it to this podcast. We will see you in tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow for a new episode.